everyone and welcome back to my channel it is my everyday makeup look the products that I'm going to use are very affordable and I use them every single day so if you want to see how I created this very natural makeup look just keep on watching okay here we go first video of 2019 the first thing that I'm going to do is actually apply some moisturizer so this is by Nivea, it's just a normal Nivea soft moisturizer and I'm going to put this like that. I apply moisturizer before I apply my foundation because it just makes it a nice base for the foundation. I'm just going to put about a pump and a half of foundation on this little beauty sponge. This is the Superstay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation by Maybelline and this is in the color 10 Ivory. I've really been liking this foundation in the summer months because it is full coverage and it dries down a little bit matte. For the summer months it is just perfect because if you have oily skin then it is just the best thing ever. Now, as you can see, I'm trying a new technique. <laughs> the bouncing the foundation into the skin technique because I've been seeing a lot of makeup artists using this on YouTube. So I'm going to try it myself. I'm just going to blend it down my neck as well. By the way, if you want to see all the little disasters going on on my channel, I just posted a video, a bloopers and funnies video of last year. So if you want to go and have a look at that, I'll link that in the description box. Next I'm going to apply some concealer. This is by Wet n Wild. It is the Photo Focus Concealer. It's in the color Light Ivory. And I'm just going to apply this. I really don't know what happened to this doe foot applicator. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to apply this under my eyes just to lighten that. I'm also going to put some on the back of my hand because I don't want it to contaminate the little doe foot. And I'm going to apply this on my blemishes as well. So I'm first just going to blend, let's blend this in. Just going to put a little bit on the lid of my eye. I'm actually not going to put any eyeshadow on today because this is the this is a very natural makeup look. Like this makeup look, I wore a lot during Vlogmas last year, but I never actually showed you the products that I used. So this is kind of the reason why I want to film this video for you. The next thing I'm going to do is powder. So. This powder has lasted me throughout the whole of 2018 and I'm using the last little bit basically today. This is the Yardley Absolute Translucent Loose Powder and it looks like this. But because it is so empty, I'm going to remove this little thing. There's literally just a little bit left for my makeup today. I'm definitely going to repurchase this. It's just a really loose powder, really finely mulled. I think that's what you call it. So it doesn't look too cakey and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes, on my chin, basically my T-zone and under my eyes. The next step is going to be brows. Now I've been using this brow product for so long. It's the L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Genius Kit. I just brush my brows up and then I just kind of smooth the tail. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of YouTubers actually do their eyebrows off camera, which is such a great help. Thank you very much. How are we supposed to improve our brows when no one shows it on camera? I mean, really? <laughs> so ridiculous actually it's like a new thing oh I'm just going to do my brows off camera like 
why i want to see how you actually do those amazing on fleek brows thank you <laughs> anyway so anyway so let's see how this goes some days my brows look really good and then other days not so much so what i do so i'm gonna just explain how i do it because no one actually tells us how to do it and this is kind of the way i've been doing it i don't know if it's right anyway so i kind of make a little line at the top of my brow like that so at the top i start at the top of my brow just to kind of frame the top part then I frame the bottom part a little bit and then I kind of just fill it in like that. And then when I come to the first part of the brow, then I kind of just brush it up like that. Just to make it fluffy and natural and to give it the, the shape in the front of the brow. And I also just end with the tail. So as you can see, <laughs> I don't use a lot of product in my brows. I basically just dip it like twice in the powder and then I just do my brow. So hopefully that's a good brow. It kind of looks good to me. Now let's see if I can actually match this second one. So again, starting with the top and then the bottom. Make the little tail. And then I can dip a little bit more and then I just frame the first part, brush it up a little bit and fill in the rest where I see gaps. So hopefully that was helpful. I actually think they look quite nice. I will probably look back when I'm editing this and think what the frick is happening with those brows but it kind of looks okay to me at this moment. Now I'm going to do my bronzers. So I don't actually contour and bronze when I want a very natural makeup look. I feel like bronzer on its own is just, it's good enough. So I'm going to use this brush and the bronzer that I'm using is the Essence Luminous Matte Bronzing Powder. It's actually for lighter skin, so that is what I am. And then this is in 01 Sunshine. And as you can see, I've been loving this product so much. It's hip pan there in the middle. I love this product and it's just a very natural sun-kissed face. I take the brush and I put it like on an angle like this and then I go in like this. So I think I do my contour actually or my bronzing a little bit higher. Just on the temples. I do it a little bit higher because I have a very round face as you can see. Without makeup, it looks like a freaking egg, so I just do it a little bit higher to give it more shape on the other side. So a lot of people do the whole sucky ink face, but then my bronze is going to sit over here. And I just don't think the proportions are going to look right. So I just put it a little bit higher on the temples. And then a little bit down the neck to create that one chin effect, effect, not the double chin effect. Okay, so hopefully that looks okay. This is the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. I freaking love this mascara. There's also a princess mascara that's a purple one. I think it's a sculpted volume mascara. This is just the volume mascara. But both are just great. And their ones are quite similar to the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I'm just going to put it out there. It also has this little curve like the Maybelline one. And I'm going to try not to sneeze because I don't know why, but it's happened twice this week where I would apply my mascara and then sneeze and then... There's mascara all over the place, so <laughs> let's hope for sneeze-free mascara apply session. Okay, so I'm just going to start applying my mascara, and the way I do it is that I kind of wiggle at the root of the, of the lash and then bring it up. I feel like that's the perfect way to get 
more curly uh, lashes. I know you can use a curling, what do you call those things? An eyelash curler. <laughs> but I feel like my eyelashes are quite curly or yeah, they kind of curl naturally. This mascara is quite a clumpier mascara, but that's the kind of mascara that I like. And then, my favorite part, highlighter! So this is a new highlighter. This is the mirror I've been using throughout this whole makeup look. This is the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Beyond Radiance Palette. It is stunning. Black with the rose gold lettering. Just look at the box that it came in. Rose gold. So Revolution came to South Africa last year. I think last year. And it launched in Click Stores. It has this massive mirror, such a good mirror for applying your makeup. You get three highlighters, you get this really whitish pearly shade, then a more pinky shade and then also a more coppery shade. I think this one is a little bit too dark for my skin tone, but this is for a very natural makeup look. And... I really like this one. This is my favorite, so I'm going to use this one today. And I'm going to apply this at the tops of my cheeks. I really hope you can see this because, oh my word, I love this highlighter. It's not a very like intense, like wet looking highlighter, but it's just, oh, I just love it. And when the sun hits your cheekbones, oh my word, I love it. I think you can actually look at that. You can actually see it on camera. Well, I can see it. Hopefully you can. And then I like to just point my brush like this. Like this. And then do the tip of my nose for a little butter nose effect. And then I like to go on the bridge of my nose like that. And then I'm going to do my cupid's bow as well. Now I am going to end this look with my favorite everyday lipstick it's also a revolution product this look again revolution products are just amazing because the quality of the products are so good and the packaging i mean look at this it's it's rose gold it matches it matches my freaking interior it matches my lamp and my mirror i mean hello <laughs> it is in the color chauffeur So this is my everyday natural makeup done. I really hope you enjoy this look. It's very natural and I just love the products that I use. I use these products every single day. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos from me, keep tuned in on my channel. Subscribe to keep up to date with the videos that I post. And I will see you very soon. Bye bye.